What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a very important mod for drift cars, installing a hydraulic handbrake. The handbrake I will be using is a swaggier handbrake. Um, this utilizes the stock handle, so I'll have to take all that apart and this handle will be installed here. You pull it and it somehow compresses the cylinder. The first thing I will be doing is removing most of the interior. I'm going to take out this center console here, this guy, um, then in the back here we'll have to take out my custom cup holders and fire extinguisher. I'll have to make a bracket for that when I put in my bucket seat. Um, I'll also have to take out the rear seat and probably this section because we're going to have to drill into the trunk. Um, run two lines so they can tie into these rear brakes. It's going to be a lot of work, um, but definitely going to be worth it. I've gone drifting in this car once, and then I've put all these parts on. The handbrake is kind of one of those things that's, you know, not necessity, but it's more of a an oh shit handle, you know, just in case, you know, I'm an amateur. I don't want to zig when I should zag. Those two back lines, let's see. There we go. So these guys, this guy and this guy, these are the rear lines. Um, I believe one's a 10 and this one's a 12. So the kit includes those. And then these go down and back. So I'll have to take these out, put in my lines, go through the car, drill a hole, and have that come up through the floor right around in there. I'll have to find that perfect spot. And then it'll probably come up in here, go through the handbrake. Back here we'll have another line and then it'll split into the T's. So the two bulkhead fittings will split off. They'll probably make a hole in there and then they'll come split, go pew pew down to the calibers. So in theory should be easy, I hope. All right, so once I get that back seat out, I'm gonna work on the center console here. These little pins right here, these hold in the armrest, so um, you just kind of pry them out, but you need room. So I'll probably move both seats forward. So for that. This little piece just has two little holes. You just kind of pop them out, press on this little tab, and then slide these bad boys out. And carefully just push it here. So yeah. Got our two lines going into the brake, booster, ABS block, the thing where the brakes are. And then we got another banjo running to, this will go to the back of the car, to the T. And then off of that T, we will have our two bulkhead fittings. These will go through the floor and then pop out on the underside. And then on the underside, it'll be these brake lines that'll go into the calibers. We're gonna remove these three bolts. And it's a 13 mil, and then I'll work on getting the handbrake out once I get all this out of the way. So once you get those bolts out, um, this kind of just flops around. So we're going to disconnect this. This is probably for the uh, dash indicator. Um, it looks like this is all its own little bracket thing. I got the whole stock assembly off, so it mounts to this little bracket right here. And I believe... It's going to go on top of this plate, and so it'll mount in there, and that way when you pull up, this gets compressed that way. All right, I think I'm going to drill the hole right around here. Uh, I could probably go into the transmission tunnel, but uh, I'm going to have a line really close to my foot. I mean, this is still going to be near my foot, but I don't know. This, this is just going to be a little pirate hole. And, uh, whoa. all right, I punched through. So let's go find out where it is. So if you go any more right than this, there's a brake line, right? Like right here. You can just see the little light. See it right there? Whoosh. So that's it. It's the brake line. Trying to see it. It's right, right in there. So yeah, I'm just going to drill that out more. And that'll be our main line. It's a great success. So grommet fits perfect. I was able to just jam the uh, 
line in there. All right, I'm gonna turn this car into a salvage title. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to end up uh, drilling the holes back here. The other spots where they said would work are not gonna work. I think it's for a coupe maybe, maybe the sedan's different, I don't know. But in the video I saw, they did up here, so I'm gonna do up here. It's also safer from the underside suspension and all that. I'll bolt it in. Same with this guy. Um, it is a 16 mil. I recommend a deep well socket because uh, the threads hang down quite a bit. I got them pretty tight. Uh, they don't move, so I think that'll be good enough. So now I'm going to put the brake lines on. Just mock it up. Hang it here. Um, then this one, I'm going to put the brake line, put some heat shielding in it, and then route it through the heat shielding. On this one, I bought some protective stuff. So this one's good to go. We'll just kind of go like this, hang down really low and nice and get caught on something. Um, we got our heat protected line going up through the heat shield. It's also wrapped in the heat protecting. What I'm going to do now is unattach these two lines, plug in the ABS lines uh, into here from the kit and then connect them to this. Um, I'm probably going to have to move you guys because I'm definitely going to hit something and get brake fluid everywhere. I'm trying to limit as much fluid loss as possible. There's not a lot of room in here at all. Come on, you bitch. Batch, batch, batch. <gasps> Big old. Big old bunch. Iron in. Nope. <gasps> God damn it. Ugh. <gasps> now the frustration sets in. He's getting orderly frustrated. I'm freaking drenched. The lines are in. They kind of go way back in there. Brake line all in there. All good and dandy. Um, now we're gonna start the bleeding process. So I'm gonna have my dad jump in there, press the brake a million times, pump it up, hold it, and I'll start from there, go there, 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 and then hopefully we'll have a handbrake. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, it was going so great. I was on the last one bleeding it, and then I noticed a small leak here, and so I tightened it with my ratchet, and it started to get really, um, righty Lucy, so I know that's about to break so big <gasps> no gonna have to order another banjo bolt great news turns out I stripped the uh, handbrake the cylinder so uh, cause I just I took out the line just checked um, the threads there were threads missing and they were from in there there was a couple threads wrong on the banjo um, but yeah, it was the master that uh, ended up uh, getting yeeted out of there. So, looks like I get to do this process all over again. Yippee! So this is the inlet, because if you look at a handbrake diagram, usually the inlet is the furthest most point. And so typically the handbrake, this one's backwards basically, but this is your in inlet, this is your outlet. Um, there's only one thing that's weird. Um, so one, when I press the brakes really hard, the whole, do you see that? It moves. Well, not right now, but, um, and also when I pull the handbrake, it, it kind of moves. It's also, it doesn't feel right. So, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but pulling the handbrake is tough <laughs> in a way. Um, so I don't know if I have to adjust it, like maybe with this guy. I needed to move this guy in because there's too much tension. It was out here, so basically it was pulling this way. So it was like, eh. but these this bracket, the screws fit easy in and out so that's a good way to tell um, that there's no tension on this thing. All right, guys, you know. I update you 
fail or win. Uh, so the car is back together. It's on the ground. It's dark, but I just went out to try the handbrake and nothing really happened. Once I pulled it like all the way up, like I was really pulling. I got some, but that was it. I was going about 25-ish. So I think when I adjusted this, maybe it doesn't have enough throw now. I tried it all again. I tried bleeding the car with the handbrake this time. It worked on the on the stands. Like I put it in third and pulled the handbrake and it locked up. So I don't know why it's not doing it when I drive it now. So my, my theory is this doesn't have enough throw now. So I think I need to move it back so it pushes more, I guess. I don't know. That's the only thing I have left. And if that doesn't work, I don't know. I'll try bleeding it again. But if that doesn't work, I'm, I'm probably just going to buy a different handbrake. Break. Um, I've already spent 80 bucks on two of these. And I'm 0 for 2 so far. So not looking good. Swaggier, not looking good for you, mate. Or maybe it's me. Who knows? I don't know the issue. So after many attempts trying to get this swaggier handbrake to work, uh, I think I'm going to chalk it up as a fail. Um, I, I read around a bit. Some people have had issues with it, saying it doesn't provide enough force or pull or pressure. And I think that's the issue. Um, it says it was the right size uh, master cylinder, which is like a 0.625. I'd put all my weight into it. It would go all the way up, but it never really locked up the brakes. It would just kind of slow the whole car down, which I already have brakes for that. I ordered a new handbrake, so we're going to... You're going to see that in the next video, uh, ordering it, hopefully installing it, and it works. Um, if it doesn't work, then we know the issue is something else. Uh, maybe it's this lime kit. Yeah, we're going to find out, but stay tuned for the next one. See ya.